So let, let's stick to the point Nicole brought up, Jeremy, and we'll start with you. Um, ransomware seems like a topic that keeps a lot of cybersecurity professionals up at night because it could be uh, the difference between a company being able to continue in business and not continue. We've even got these new variations of ransomware where even after you've paid the ransom, which in some cases is you know hundreds of thousands of dollars, you've got these people threatening to release the data publicly. So even if you're able to recover it, if you wanna take a stand and not pay the ransom, and you've got a good backup to rely on, there's a chance that some of these people are going to threaten to release the data publicly. And can your organization survive something like that? So. That's the one that keeps a lot of people up at night, but is that what keeps you up at night when you're thinking about your customers, Jeremy? Oh, I think we lost Jeremy's audio. Alex, I'll give it to you and then I'm gonna work on sure. Jeremy's audio. Uh, so, yeah. We do a business impact assessment uh, each year, and ransomware is one of the top risks that um, okay. I speak to the board about, and I uh, uh, we have plans uh, on air gap backups and things like that so we can recover. Um, so is it, my wife tells me I sleep very well at night, so um, I I don't have that problem, but in a serious sense, if you have to restore from like an air gap backup in a ransomware, or you choose to pay that, um, you've already sort of lost. And so our our viewpoint is more the protect versus the recover aspect. So that's where we put most of our investment. Um, but the problem is that it's an arms race. Um, you're always uh, needing to spend more and more to protect that fortress. And so, um, our strategy is more along that line uh, than complex recovery models, um, but it's it's certainly a hot topic, I would say. Um, I losing my intellectual property or client data um, would be strategic business impairing uh, for the firm. And so um, that's why we do look at it as a top risk and we do have lots of plans around it. Jeremy, back to you. Sorry for the audio issue there. <laughs> That's fine. I think, you know, what's come up, I've been writing some notes as we've been discussing is, I like to have a risk discussion with my stakeholders, my business owners. I think it's important that you have those when the building's not on fire. Like, let's talk about what's your risk tolerance? If this happened, what's that effect? And so having those discussions ahead of time especially for a small business owner, like you're gonna to have to pay X amount to, to have this protected, uh, helps me as an IT professional support them better. That being said, I totally agree with Alex on the protect versus recover model. You know, I, I do pay for the better firewall. I pay for the better firewall license so that I've got that protection. And then additionally, I may have their systems backed up on site. I have them backed up off site. Um, I may have a cold backup like he's talking. But once I take a client over, I feel very responsible for their data and for protecting their their business from attack. And so uh, it's it's not something that I think any IT professional takes lightly. Uh, we we share a great bit. We, we hold that on our shoulders of we don't want anybody to ever lose their data. 